Okay, it's the 27th of August, 2024, and I'm going to show you fishermen a little catfishing secret. Well, anyhow, I'm going to bass fish the first uh, 30 minutes or so. But I've got a big tub of Tyson's chicken livers. I'm going to dump out about half of them and let that draw the fish in for catfishing. I'm going to go right over here to this rock where the water gets a little bit st uh, swift. Dump about a half a bucket of these chicken livers out and let the water carry them. The water carry the scent down this way for about a, maybe 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour before I start fishing for, for catfish. So I thought I'd tell you that and the fish will come from a mile down the, down the river right probably when he starts scenting all this chicken liver blood and stuff. So I thought I'd throw that out to you. Right where the water tries to break right there. I'll dump out about a half of this bucket of chicken liver and let, and let it, the scent of it get down through there and all the catfish downstream will smell that, see? And they'll come up here to feed. And here about uh, 45 minutes from now, I will come back with a, the other half of this chicken liver and put a treble hook, a, a small, a, a medium sized sinker and fish this. So. Anyhow, that's how that cookie's gonna bounce today. Let me lay my reel down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, I've caught some nice catfish before, so don't think I don't know what I'm talking about. I just watch don't fall in. Like right here, where the water starts getting a little, getting a little bit swift, but the scent is in here. Let me see if I can get this off. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And boy, these catfish chicken livers is right. I'm gonna dump about half of them out. All right, that smell, I'm gonna carry downstream. Matter of fact, I'm gonna set my chicken livers down right over here. So that smell will go down downstream in that direction. We'll carry probably a half a mile. Some of it'll float off, some of it won't. But them catfish will smell that blood and chick livers in the water and they'll sooner or later come up this way there you go tied on what it's called a crick hopper i painted that myself uh, the color and the dots and stuff so usually this time of the year they're pretty good uh, uh bass bait or uh, uh rock bass or whatever you know or bluegill i'm gonna try that a couple times see if there's any action on that there okay We'll just see. Let's just see what it looks like. Birds don't know till they try, I don't guess. Uh oh. I'll fish a little while for bass or whatnot here whatever and then and a little bit be some catfishing let's just see what the doctor ordered this morning uh oh something bit at it but i missed him let's try that one more time see if that fish has got an urge to catch that let's set just for a little bit and twitch it and it twitches on top Runs kind of from side to side. If you crank it hard, it'll go down about a foot, maybe. But I usually do it. I let it float to the top. Well, I'm not got no hit yet. Just try once over in the corner. I ain't gonna fool with that bait long if I don't get something on it. Let's just see. Watch this now. Well, I guess you can see that. Them fish can't hardly stand it right there when they're biting good in, on that, in that type of lure, on the top water lure. I tell you that now, I done seen it happen too many times. I've caught too many fish on that lure like that. A rebel crick hopper. And I don't get paid anything from rebel. I don't get paid, paid anything from lose reels like I'm using. I don't get paid anything from Berkeley shock rods, lightning rods. But that's what I use. I use strand high impact line. Uh, what I'm using today is 11 pound test. 
and uh, oh, or 12 pound test, I guess. I might be 11 or 12, I, I forget. It's one or the other. But anyhow, that's heavy enough to where you can catch a good sized fish, get him in. If you watch what you're doing, have your drag set right and not horse him too bad if he's big, you can get him in. And, and it's not too big where you can't cast a little bit smaller lure. If you get line much bigger than that, you won't be able to cast a, uh, a lure. You have to have a half, half ounce lure or something. You don't want to do that. Now you can use a braided line, but it's bad about tangling sometimes with certain types of rods or reels, you know. Bad about tangling. So it's got its ups and downs, depending on what kind of fishing you're doing. I have action here on a creek hopper <laughs> oh that bass was right back a little old tiny bass i gotta watch my old oh, catch and release bro what about that right off of bat let's just see if there's another one right back there he hit it right there pretty hard so might be a big bass laying there oh <laughs> live action baby oh he thinks he's big he ain't big He's back in the shallows. Well, hallelujah, brother. About time I caught some. What is this? Man, he ain't too bad. He ain't too good, but he ain't too bad. Oh, I don't want to get a hook in my hand. Jesus. I got that the other day like that. I don't want to do it again. I should have my... Should have had a thing out to my... My unhooker right Catch and release, baby. What about that? Live action, buddy. Learned that from Turtle Man. I learned it. Country people call it learnt. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's see if there's a big one laying in there. Man, I ran the corner, huh? Like he was hungry. He, hit it. he went after it when he hit it. He didn't play around. What about that? When he got after it, he got after it. Got a lady. Tell me old gray-headed man knocking on 70 years old next next Wednesday. Can't catch no fish. I just see. I just see if I can. Just twitch that a little bit of that. They don't like that. Or maybe they love it. <laughs> uh, what about that? See if I can get it, honey. Going up straight from this rocks here. Who knows, you know? Of course, don't know until they try. Fish sometimes get in the shallows. It's real shallow right here, right above this uh, uh, show here. The first show below the Sandstone Falls in Raleigh County. I'm in the New River Gorge area. Water's good and clear, pretty. Be a good time to catch one right here. There was one lurking around in this low water. Let's just see. Let's just see if there is. Most of the time, a fish can't hardly stand that right there when you throw that in there. Well, let's try this. Let's try this this time, see if there's one going to get it. There's a good one in there here, you usually hit it. The bad thing about using a creek hopper is a hook is so small. If you hook a big bass, a lot of times he'll come out of the water and throw it. Don't, the hooks are not that big, so. But you, sometimes you'll, they'll hang on. I'll try to keep them, uh, keep them from uh, jumping much if you, if you use that type of a lure. Uh, it might taste you real good in here, you never know. I've caught some good ones right here. Over the over the slump limit, over. I don't think I ever kept one from here though. I fell all my hind in and busted my hind in on this rock right here one time. I didn't fall down in the deep water, so let's try it one more time here. Let's try it right there. Let's see if there's one lurking around right here on top of this. Sometimes they're hanging around right on top of the show. Well, you think, you know, thought I'd have got one there, I would. 
I'm almost done. That's right. Give me any lurking bass. You know. Might be a musky or something laying there. Boy, I think a musk I'd probably never get it in. This, this little be the hook too small to get a good set. They rip that right on out and break the break the hood. But now I'm not what you call fishing for musky today. I've got some big lures cost a lot of money, but uh, four musky, but well, I'm, I'm not fishing for musky today. Yeah, another little place here. Next to these rocks, looks like a pretty good place. I might get one here, who knows? Let's see. We're gonna catch one here. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Let's just see. Ooh, got a bite. It's an awful good looking place, I guess. Uh, let see if this old man knows what he's talking about. Let's see if this old man knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I don't want to catch it. Just to see. Looks like it'd be a good night. Looks like it'd be a good one. Get a little bit closer without falling in when I want to. Let's just see. Let's just see if it's like this can do it. Try a Ned rig. I caught a few bass on that uh, Rebel Crick Hopper. But you can see what I set up here. I've got a, I forget the 3 16th ounce maybe, hit head with offset hook and uh, a different color uh, type uh, of, uh, of uh, plastic part. You know, it's got the, got the spark on stuff. I'm right to work this barely sticking out to the point. When a bass grabs it, it'll be on, I hope. Anyhow, I hope it is. I put it in there too far far huh? just to make me try that again. Right there, right there, I do it, right there, see. Alright, it grabs it, it's on, see. Let's try that a couple times. My baby son came up a couple days ago and went up there at the stop sign. At, uh, it, as soon as you get down on the Hinton Bypass and caught 35 or 40 bass in about two hours time uh, wading around the edge of the lake with a lure just like this. So, uh, let's let that float down to hit the bottom and just kind of bump it across the bottom. I don't know. We'll see, we, we'll see here in a minute. I don't know if something hits it, I guess. 
All right, yeah, we'll yeah, see. Hope you can see it. I've got him on film there, see. See him coming right over top of me here. A white here. Pretty as he. There he goes. Got a little bit of black on his tail. Good rig. I don't know what I got. Maybe a bass. Oh, it's about time, honey bunny child. And Ned Rick paid off just now. There he is. I figured it would. Oh, he ain't too bad. Oh, catch and release. Catch and release on a Ned Rig. Let's try that one more time. I'll throw this Ned Rig over in that still water out of our front. I'll try it, see if I can get a bass or something out of there, if I can get it in there. Oh, it's in there. If I can just keep it in there long enough to get something out. We got a lot of swift water between me and it, and it'll probably carry it on around. And it has. I don't know if it's going to do any good or not. Just have to wait and see. and just work my reel a little bit. It's going through that swift water. If I was able to wait over out where I can throw straight down in there, I'm sure it'd catch some out of that. But I'm not. I'm not going to chase it. Don't feel like getting wet. I'm supposed to get like over 100 degrees here today. It was hot yesterday in the high 90s. But it's supposed to get. I think maybe 103 or 105 here today, so I'm not going to stay out here too long. Get ready to rig up, I guess, for catfish here. Just, I mean, let me try that one more time. See if anything will grab that right quick. Uh, who knows? I get a stupid looking musky. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Let me wiggle that around up there. Let's try this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So go back to catfishing again. Throw that net and just yell too, you A little old time during that time. Man, I got him hooked up bad. Get him off. Can't live like that. Man, got, a, got the blue heron over here wanting to bite or two, too. Let me see if I can give him one. He remembers me, don't he? See if I can get him off there. Hold on a minute. Get the way a minute I get him. Here, 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 come here and get it. Here, here, come get it. <laughs> he swallowed it. He know me, don't he? He know me, catch and release. But look, look, look who we end up with that one. That's a blue hero. That's my buddy. He's standing there looking for another one. <laughs> he back there. Stupid looking time, ain't it? Oh, it's about the right size for my old buddy right here. Watch. He's looking for me. <laughs> yeah. See if I can feed you one more time. Watch him stand over there looking for me. He's waiting on me to throw that to him. Hold, hold, hold still, fish. I'm not letting you loose. Hold still. Oh, look at there. I'm catching it. If I can keep you from getting in the water where I am. Here. <laughs> it didn't take him long to pick that thing up. He knows how to get it. He slaughtered his first. That'd be his eating for today. Watch him swallow it now. He came within about 10 or 10 or 12 feet of me here. What about that? I guess I have to call that my pet Huron. <laughs> what about that? To a small minnow that runs shallow. That's the two sets of treble hooks on it. Let's try that for just a minute to see if it makes any difference. I see it. Time they wouldn't hit one kind of lure and they'd bust the other one to death. So, yeah, they will or won't. We'll find out here in a minute. Let's 
goes on it, goes out on that little hole. Uh, right here. Oh, it looks like somebody busting up like that. Looks like somebody getting one right there. Looks too good off the case though. Yeah, whatever it is. The thing about it, if I don't catch this, then I'm, I'm in a beautiful place to, uh, to try. Well, I know. Let's just see. Let's just see. Who knows? Oh, uh, live action! Live action, baby! He got hooked. Oh, he got off. Wow, they got snake my reel right up my uh, hook. Well, well. At least I know there's one or two in there. It bites. About time I had some live action. I'd get tired of not having no live action. Let's try that again. Might be good in there. Waiting on the feet. I'm waiting on some minutes. <sighs> you know, if there's one like that, it bites. There might be two. I like that. What about that? The sun's going to come out and blind me here in a minute, probably. <laughs> That's why that cookie bounces. Let's just see. Let's just see if he's any more interesting. Bass is in there. Oh, he hit it, but he let it loose. Live action, baby. Where do you go after it? They go after it. Let's just see. <laughs> they were hungry. There's something in there snacking around. I'd like to catch him. I'm using a small uh, mirror. It uh, goes down about a foot so in the water, you know. I think that's the old Zuri brand, I believe. It's got real razor sharp hooks from. We hope that's going to do all right. It's got a little bit of blue, pink color, silver and black, gold. We'll see. I'm using a, oh God, I got hooked on it. I don't watch I get hooked up here right off the bat. I'm using a loose reel. It's a, a speed, speed spin, loose. Uh, L zip zip L Z R P thirty. So anyway, you fishermen might know what that is. And I've got a a shock Berkeley shock uh, rod. Uh, I think it's a seven feet. Hey, on, just gonna be tell you for sure. <clears throat> okay, seven foot rod, medium action. Uh, eight to fifteen pound line, one eight to half ounce lure. So we're we're. We're okay, so I changed, put new line on. I've got a uh, 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 real good line. I'll think of the name of it in a minute. Uh, uh, it's the, the top grade line, 12 pound test to put on this morning. So here we go. Let's just see what this honey hole holds this morning. Good sign, must have been a small one. Let's try it one more time. Got one back there, Let's try it again. I got a feeling I'm gonna get one right there. Sometimes I 
sometimes it works. Sometimes they don't hold in the that's just uh that's just a uh that bit got another bite that's just keep trying here for me on the lures huh uh strand strand high impact line is what i've got on there it's a, it's a better grade line than what i have been using it's about uh, i was using eight pound test now i've got 12 on so Look, I'm hoping to catch uh, something pretty good out of here, you know. Sometimes that big ones be hiding. Let me go right up here. There was a big one just a tetting just now, a little uh, yellow cricket. Uh, Drag five, watch it. Watch it. He's right in there. Let's see if he'll hit it. Those are good in that arm. Go about two or three pounds. If I can get him rough, it's just safe. You see how serious he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that ain't the one. I've seen the bigger one. But at least, that's a little old red eye. Or a rock bag, if you want to call it that. Rock bag. If I can do this without getting a hook in my hand. I ain't got it. I'm getting too uh, anxious ahead. I've seen that big fish. Put it in there and it's catching the least one. Okay. I've seen the, a big bass come up at it there. Might be the color they're liking. That yellow. So if he'll hit it again. Let's see what he looks like. Now, he's a good one. I've seen it. He can swallow that thing not that just got caught. It's just safe. He's still in there. There he is. He's on. Well, that ain't the same one, but he's a good one. <laughs> ah! Let's just see. Let's just catch a couple. Oh, he ain't very big. About a pound, maybe. Maybe. Oh. Live action, old turtle man. They took old turtle man off of a, off of a, a history channel, you know that mountain man show or whatever you call it. Uh, said he was uh, injuring them turtles, you know, and was making some kind of a stupid looking law. He's taking them, moving them somewhere else, you know. Somebody I think in Pennsylvania or somewhere. Complained over it. Him an old Kentucky boy, you know. That's do a little catch and release. There you go, Joe. Well, you know. That ain't the one I've seen come up like that. One I've seen about swallow that one. Let's see if we can get him. That's my hand painted Rebel Crick Opera. I painted that with fingernail polish. It's been on there for years. It ain't never come off. Color ain't faded or nothing. I'm proud of that, see. That's my design. Let's see here. If I know what I was talking about. Let's see. You see that big in that idea. Man, he was a good one. I seen him come up all the way for that. And he just missed it. He's in there if I just get him to hit. He ain't left that fast. Right there. Right on the He's a good one if you're ahead of him. Piece of five action. Yes, this is eight. At least I know he like that yellow color. I didn't get completely skunked this morning. Sometimes you gotta change, uh, change your office. Let me let that rest a while, try it out over here. Let's just see, since that one hit there for a minute, let's try it right here. Let's see if there's anything to see yet. I gotta get used to this 12 pound test line, it's a little bit stiffer than the 
eight pound I was using, you know. I got a, a hankering to catch me a bigger fish. I was afraid that that eight pound test wouldn't do what I want, but I know there's some musky in there. And they will hit the lures that I've got sometimes. There wouldn't be much hope of getting a musky in on a lure like that that third one be on there. But I've got some mixed spinners we're bringing in. Or a whopper box. He just piddled that one with it, whatever it is. I bet it's a small fish just trying to take my bait off my hook. Probably doesn't got it. Fish, bigger fish for sure. Might have got a catfish just now I've caught. He's a good and he hit that worm. Oh Lord, probably a carp. Fight like a catfish or a carp. It ain't fighting like no bite. Oh, so God. He slapped out there. Oh Lord. He's pretty good. It's about time I caught him. Why don't you pull that drag? Oh, I'm trying to get to the swift walk. I got 12 pound test on him. I got him hooked good too. Man, I'm getting his. Oh, God. I wonder what he is. Let's just see what he is right here. Don't want to break a line. He's a good. You want me to get in that swift water, and I'm not wanting to let him. I want to see what he is. About time I caught something the size of Miller. He's a good. I ain't caught him yet. I'm just cooking. Oh, he's spinning that. Been that drag, dude. He's pulling drag. I think that thing probably weighs pretty good. I want to see what he is. I bet he's a catfish or a carp. He ain't fighting like no. He's a good one, whatever he is. What's that? About time we had some live action, old turtle man. Let's just see what he is. Let's see what he is here. I want to see what he is. I bet he's a catfish. He is. He ain't all that big, but he's a good one. He's eating size. Oh, that's what it feels like to catch something when you've been catching minnows, I guess, huh? Let's just see. He's wanting to go here on, I'm hunting on somebody's line too, I believe. Uh, yeah. Those lines hung on mine, that ain't that nice. I'm not gonna get him over here without losing. No one felt like he was. He's a nothing on the other line out there too, I believe. What's going on with this line? That's it. That's what happened. That's a good channel cat. We'll just take him to eat. Have Ben fry him up like. Let me get him on the, on the stringer. Gonna hit probably a catfish again. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good when that is. Probably about like that other one. It went down all at once. Uh, he's trying to take some line. <laughs> now, who knows what's going to catch it now, I don't know, might be good, might be a pretty good one, I guess. When you can't catch bait, just catch some catfish. That's what I always say to him. Yeah, he don't want to come in yet, does he? He, yeah, he? he probably a good channel cat too, let's see. Let's see what he is, might be a bass. I don't know, I don't know what he is. He's a good size of a catfish again, I believe. Claudy, Claudy, Claudy. Let's just see. Oh, he don't want to come in at all. Oh, give him some line. <laughs> he, he don't want to come in. Well, you can't, they ain't doing no good catching. Let's catch a few catfish. 
He's mad too. He's mad. Oh. He's mean. He's mad. Oh, 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 oh. He want to get away. He's wanting to get away. Oh, he ain't that big. Not the same size that other one is. But he was strong. Yeah. Let's just see if we can get him in here too. Oh, right there. Hook him right in the snoot. You see if he's hooked good. He makes sure he's hooked good before I lift him up here. Can't see. I guess he is. He's fat. He's fat though. Let me put my reel up here. I gotta get him. I've got to jet him. Oh, God. Oh, he's, he's a heavy fat one. Man, he's a good one. That's what I call a catfish. But he wasn't hooked that good, either. Man, he's a good one. Let me get a hold of him before he gets away. Oops, oops. He's trying to stick me. Hold on, Tommy. He's a good one. He's trying to get away from me. Hold him right there. Now let's get this unhooked. Put him on the strap. Oh, about to lose him. About to lose him. Get my hand in his lip. Well, I won't lose him. Might, might lose him. Hold still, you catfish, you. Gotta get my thing loose here. Might ready to lose him. He want him back in. He want to go. He want to stay. All right, see if I get this out of here. Get my hand in the right place. I'm not lose him. Oh. He, he might be a bit bigger than that one is. Well, he don't want to come out of here. He don't want to go out of here. He wants to stay here in the river, Jibber. Let's see if I can get that. There he is. Right there he is. Let me sit behind him in here. I got winded. Now that's a man, that's a good fat one. Lord. Oh a night crawler. Something that grabbed him to where half of his tail off in the place. This is what I got here. Let's put him down over his brother. Got two brothers. Lordy, lordy, what fishing. Don't tell me you can't catch no fish in no new river. They ain't got no fish in it. Let's see what they look like together. Oh, God. Look like one of them fish fry, brother. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Lordy. Now let's get back to fishing.